This is really most of it. I didn't get like a thousand bajillion things. Drum roll, please. Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time at my channel, hello, my name is Brooke Wallenzine. It is very nice to meet you. Make sure that you subscribe down below. L give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and say hello. I'm getting tongue tied because I literally have not filmed in a hot minute. So I made my oddball wish list and yes, new, new area. We're living with a family member. Like I said, this is our little room we've got. If you guys want a room tour, it's a bit of a disaster in here, but I can do one. So let me know if you want one. We've got, as you can see, the snake racks are in here. We've got a lizard over here and then our bed and you know just a little room a little space of our own in here but i thought since i did my oddball wish list i would go ahead and share with you guys what i got I'm looking a little insane so let's just go ahead and get started if you guys have not watched my oddball wish list i will link that down below but I will just start with the stuff off of Uncommon Goods so I can show you guys what I got. And I also got some things off of there that I didn't even ask for. So let's start with those things because I like talked about that website so much and was like so obsessed with the Uncommon Goods website. So I figured let's show you guys what I got off there. First thing I got from there, this came from my parents. It is a vegetable seasoning kit and it has different, I'll open it up for you. It's got different packets in here. I dropped a couple um, of all these different seasoning packets and then it also came with a little recipe book for these but it'll tell you like this is zesty horseradish for baby carrots and potatoes Mexican street corn for hummus or corn on the cob like I'm super excited there's a bunch of stuff in here and then also you can obviously reuse these recipes and kind of remake that spice mix on your own I think it's a good way to learn how to make new stuff I feel like we all get stuck in this cycle of eating the same stuff all the time let me pick up those packets i dropped you can keep it going with the food related things these are all spun around but this is a bunch of avocado oils which is a high fat oil it's good for cooking with and it's also good for putting on salads and stuff and they're all different there is one that is just regular avocado oil there you go and then the other ones are infused with stuff like garlic chili pepper um rosemary ginger turmeric orange so this also came from my parents this is really good stuff i did get leggings you guys i got two pairs of black leggings for my mother-in-law and i do want to mention i don't have that in here because i've been using it my older sister got me the french coffee press i wanted so i'm super excited about that um, and I tried it out and it's amazing. Highly recommend a French coffee press over a Keurig for many of reasons. One being that Keurigs get really nasty and moldy and they're really hard to clean. So I am throwing out my Keurig and sticking to my French coffee press. I believe this is the last thing I got off of the Uncommon Goods website, which my little sister bought for me. These are seed bearing lollipops. You eat the lollipop and then you plant the stick and the stick will grow out little plants so this one is a lemon thyme and it tells me on the back here or on the front so lemon thyme in this stick there is thyme so love that and i've been eating them and saving the sticks because i need to get them planted really tasty they're um, vegan they're all natural so you can't really go wrong with that yep Organic, vegan, kosher, non-GMO, soy-free, nut-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, and artificial dye-free as well. So these are like a go-to lollipop if you want like a cool project to do with the kids or if you're like me and you like stuff like this. These are awesome. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background. We've got a beautiful blue pity here where we're living and she's obsessed with her daddy. So <laughs> dad's home. So she's freaking out. She's also obsessed with my husband. She likes men, okay? I don't know. She doesn't, she's just, I'm like, pfft, not, she doesn't care about me. Okay, so I got this incense burner from my mom and dad. You put a cone incense up here and it water falls down, I don't know. I'll try to find a picture and insert it in here of what they look like when they're going. They're super cool and super pretty. I was really excited about this. Moving down the line, something else I got for my mother-in-law is a just nice little Victoria's Secret set. Sorry, I'm using natural lighting. Victoria's Secret set with the bombshell lotion and perfume 
Got this cool little flashlight from my grandma. And also for my grandma, I got one of these little trees. It's an ornament, but it also turns on. I don't know, these have become more popular in the past couple of years, but my grandma has always had these at her house, the white ones. I don't know, I'll try to find a picture. I don't know exactly what kind of trees these are called, but if I can find the picture of the one I'm talking about, I'll put it in here. She's had them since I was really, really young. And just in the past couple of years, these trees have regained popularity and now they make the little ornaments and stuff. So I love this. I use this as some Christmas cheer. I put it on my little stand back there by the TV. Now this, I don't know if I mentioned this in my video or not. I can't remember, but it's the Binging with Babish cookbook. I will link his channel down below if you guys have not checked it out. If you like movies, if you like food, either one, check it out. Family Guy, he does recipes from that. He takes recipes from different TV shows or movies and he'll make the recipe based on the show and then he will recreate it to make it like good and edible because sometimes shows just simply aren't realistic. And my mom and dad got me the cookbook and I'm super excited about it. Um, the one thing that was in here that really stuck out to me was the blueberry pie from Stand By Me. That recipe is in this book. So super awesome, super excited about this. I do just wanna say I did get a couple more things, but these are just like the main like big things that I got. So if you got me something else and you don't see it in this video, I do appreciate it and I am thanking you for it. I just don't have it right next to me right now, but this is like most of it. Like I, this is really most of it. I didn't get like a thousand bajillion things. Okay guys, I'm like super excited about this. I'm actually about to go take a shower and put this on for the day. I cannot believe this. I didn't even ask for this. I believe this is my little sister. So Maddie, if you're watching this, love you. Thanks for telling mom and dad and hooking me up. You guys, Bailey Sarian merch. If you don't watch her, I will link her down below. Murder, makeup, mystery, Mondays is where it's at. I, if you guys don't watch her, I don't even know what to say. Video down below, check her out please. My queen, honestly. Okay. I almost cried when I opened this yesterday. My mother-in-law came in clutch. I asked her and she delivered and delivered and delivered you guys. Am I doing this the right way? Sorry, I already opened it. I don't know why I'm like, <sighs> I haven't used it yet. Oh, it's so pretty with this lighting. My love and joy, mini controversy palette from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I'll do it for you guys. Just plain beauty. Oh, look, that's what I'm filming with. There's me, what's up guys? Um, I literally almost cried and I, I kind of had like an inkling I might be getting it, but I wasn't sure if she was able to get it or not. Um, I asked her for the large one too, but $50 and they sold out like insanity as everybody knows, they broke the internet. So she was not able to get the big ones, but come on, how can you not be like completely 100%, 1000% grateful for this? So if you guys want to see me playing with this, dipping into it, I know I'm late to the party, but I don't even care. Like, holy crap. Um, I don't, I have no words. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. Oh, I also got this stress reliever candle. Like I said, there's a couple more things. I got some magnesium oil, you know, whatever. Small things like that. But those are the main things that I got for Christmas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Comment your favorite thing down below that you got for Christmas or your favorite gift that you gave. If you guys didn't give or receive gifts, there was totally nothing wrong with that. Colton and I could not afford to give any gifts to anybody this year or even each other. So if you did not give or receive gifts this year, comment down below what you did for Christmas, who you spent it with, someone you're thankful for, a YouTuber that you love, anything. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always and once again, please subscribe down below. I want to reach my goal of 500 in the next three months. So help me get there. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will be here without fail for you every single time. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.